Here's my final thoughts. We don't need to defund the D.C. Police Department. We do need to make some much needed changes, though, like consequences for the cops who use excessive force and criminal charges for those who break the law. Maybe we reprogram some of those police dollars to mental health and social service workers who could respond to emergencies with the police to help defuse situations. One in four shootings involve mental cases. How about we send out more options on those 911 calls? Your neighborhood is safe, but we need good cops to protect the innocent families who can't escape the bad neighborhoods. 11-year-old Davon McNeil's family had moved away from their Anacostia neighborhood, but Davon was back on July 4th attending an anti-violence cookout that was organized by his mom. A neighborhood beef broke out, led to a shootout. Davon was struck and killed by a stray bullet. His grandfather is a former leader of the local chapter of the Guardian Angels who work with police to quash this kind of violence. Eight people have already been shot. Three of them have died in recent summer shootings here in the DMV. So here's my question. We defund the police department, and then what? Who do we send out to look for the people responsible for Davon McNeil's murder, if not police? That's a Q&A for tonight. Thanks for watching. Keep sending us those questions. I'm Bruce Johnson. Have a good night. Continue to be safe.